In this video, we will try to understand how to find out the fluid power in hydraulics and pneumatics. Now we have shown one of the circuit over here and we have to find out or rather we have to derive the expression for fluid power in terms of pressure and discharge. So we can prove that fluid power is pressure into discharge or gamma QH. Then if pressure is expressed in terms of bar and volumetric flow rate or discharge Q in liters per minute, then we have to prove that fluid power is equal to gamma Q divided by 600 expressed in kilowatt. Then how to find out the pump head, then the motor head and the brake power that is available at the shaft. So this is the electric motor which is driving this pump and the this is the pressure relief fall then strainer and various other components of the hydraulic circuit they are shown over here. So the main component is the electric motor which is developing the power and what is that particular fluid power that we have to derive. So let us start with the derivation. So we know that power is expressed in terms of work done divided by time. It is the rate of doing work and work is nothing but force into displacement divided by this time. Now we know that pressure is expressed in terms of force upon area. So pressure P is equal to force upon area. So force will be equal to pressure into area. So in terms of in place of force we can substitute the term that is pressure into area multiplied by the displacement that term is already there divided by time. So we can write down this particular expression as P into area into displacement that is D divided by time that is T. So this is nothing but pressure into volume, area into displacement is nothing but volume divided by time t. So volume upon time that is nothing but the volumetric flow rate that is discharge that is p multiplied by q. So this q is nothing but the volumetric flow rate which is expressed in terms of meter cube per second. So pressure is expressed suppose in terms of Newton per meter square or Pascal and Q is the discharge in meter cube per second. Then we can say that this meter cube and meter square so it will be Newton meter per second that is nothing but joule per second or we can say that it is watt. So the fluid power it is expressed in terms of P and Q. It is a product of P and Q. Now we know that pressure is nothing but force exerted per unit area. The force is nothing but the weight of the liquid and we know that the specific weight of the liquid that is gamma is equal to W per unit volume that is weight per unit volume. So we can say that W is nothing but gamma into V. So gamma into V divided by area and volume is nothing but area multiplied by pressure head that is H divided by area. So this area area we can cancel out. So pressure is nothing but it is gamma into H where gamma is the specific weight in Newton per meter cube and H is equal to pressure head. So this value we can substitute and we can have the another expression for the fluid power. So therefore as we have already derived that fluid power is nothing but that is equal to P into Q. Q. Now substitute the value of P that is gamma into H into Q. So that is nothing but gamma Q into H. So this is the another expression for the fluid power in terms of watt. Now generally the pressure 
is expressed in terms of bar and q is expressed in terms of liter per minute then how to express the fluid power that is the important aspect because in industrial hydraulics and pneumatics we are having this as the standard units for pressure as well as q so let us write down the expression once again so fluid power is equal to p into q now we know that one bar is equal to 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square then liters per minute lpm is equal to so 1 liter is 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube and 1 minute is 60 seconds so it is 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube per second so let us substitute these values numerical values in the expression of the fluid power so fluid power will be equal to this p into q as it is one bar is equal to 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square and one liter per minute is 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube per second 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 60 meter cube per second now this pressure is in newton per meter cube as we have already seen and q is in meter cube per second so this is nothing but newton meter per second that is what this is already we have seen now Ten raised to five into ten raised to minus three, that is ten raised to two divided by sixty. Now this is in watt. Suppose we want to convert this into kilowatt, then we have to divide by thousand. So P into Q into ten raised to two divided by sixty, and again we have divided it by thousand. So this is nothing but this is ten raised to two, and this is ten raised to three or thousand. So in the denominator we'll have sixty into ten, that is. 600 so this is 10 raised to 2 divided by 60 then so ultimately we are getting fluid power is equal to p multiplied by q divided by 10 into 1 upon 60 so that is nothing but pq upon 600 kilowatt So we can directly use this particular formula for the calculation of the fluid power if the pressure is expressed in terms of bar and q is given in terms of liter per minute. Now pump hydraulic power or hydraulic power is equal to gamma q into h in terms of h small h we have substituted hp so therefore we can say that pump head hp can be written as hydraulic power pump hydraulic power divided by gamma into q so we have just transferred this gamma into q on this side similarly for motor also we can write down the so this is the head that is developed by the pump similarly for the motor we can say that hm will be equal to motor head and that is nothing but motor hydraulic power divided by gamma q because power is equal to gamma into q into h so h will be equal to so hm is equal to motor hydraulic power divided by gamma q now the another relation is important so brake power that is the power power that is available at the shaft so the basic relation for the power is torque into angular speed so it is 2 into 2 pi n upon 60 where n is the speed in rpm and t is the torque in newton meter and omega is expressed in terms of radian per second so we can say that it is newton meter per second that is joule per second or watt
now if you want to convert it into kilowatt then we have to divide it by thousand so break power will be equal to t into 2 pi n upon 60,000 or we can say that it is t into n divided by 60 into 1000 divided by 2 pi so we can adjust the term in this particular fashion and if we calculate this particular value 60 into 1000 divided by 2 pi then that particular term comes out to be 9550 so this is the again the standard relation to convert brick power in terms of kilowatt we can use this relation using the values of torque and speed in rpm so torque is in newton meter and speed is in rpm and finally the overall efficiency it is given as the ratio of output divided by input so output is nothing but the hydraulic power and input is nothing but the electric power which is generated by the motor the motor is supplying the power to the pump so that is the hydraulic pump hydraulic power divided by electric motor power so in this way we can find out the fluid power in case of hydraulics and pneumatics thank you very much for watching